Hey everybody, welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about how to establish a connection wirelessly from our compatible Kenwood dash cameras and your smart devices using our Kenwood dash cam manager application. Now that we know how to establish this connection, let's take it a step further and talk about what we can do once we're inside of the app itself. So without further ado, let's dig right in. Now let's say that we want to access the files on the dash camera itself. Once we're inside of our Kenwood dash cam manager app, in the top left corner you'll see we have an icon for that. We'll select that icon and then it will take us into the stored footage that's on our Kenwood dash cameras. In this case we're going to scroll down to the time that I was actually driving my truck so that we can have a proper example. Here you can see I was driving down the road and let's say that maybe hypothetically an incident had occurred at this time. We want to be able to review this footage easily. We can simply tap the play icon that shows on the video, make sure that this is the instance that we do want to have saved to our devices, and on the far right side, we'll see another icon. This icon looks like a pencil and paper. We're going to select this, re-highlight that same footage now that we've been able to confirm that is what we want, and then we'll select the download icon that appears on the gray toolbar inside of this application. Once we've incorporated this and we've followed these steps, the video will then begin to download directly to our device. Now once the video is downloaded, there are a few other things that we can do with it directly from the application itself. Here you can see we're at about 59 to 60%. Once we hit that 100% completion, we'll be able to view this in a next icon, which is the files on mobile. So stay tuned and we'll pick up right there in just a moment. So our download is completed and we want to be able to share this video directly from the application. We'll simply select the files on mobile on the far right side and then we're easily able to access this same video. We're going to select that same icon and select that video. Except for this time, you'll notice we have a couple of extra options. Here we can actually trim the footage directly from the application so that you don't have to send it to any other external software, making it one step easier for you. But also we have the ability to share this footage. By doing so, we're going to select the icon to the left of the scissors. Select that check mark. Now, whenever we selected that check mark, it pulls up many different options and different actions that can be performed directly from this application. Here you can see that we can airdrop, we can go through messages, mail, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and many other sources, all easily accessible directly from the app itself. Now the last one of these icons available in our Kenwood Dash Cam Manager application is the About section. This is an easy area to reference a few different things. The Dash Cam information itself, app information, app setting, instructions, and a direct link to the Kenwood website. Now the Dash Cam information is a great tool because this allows you to see the current firmware that you're using on your Kenwood Dash Camera in the event it might need an update. As you can see, We've tried to incorporate every feature that each and every one of you would find beneficial in our Kenwood Dashcam Manager application. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me and go through all of this, and I look forward to answering any other questions that you may have in the comments below about our Kenwood Dashcam Manager app. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Kenwood.